Hi guys, welcome to PowerPoint Glamour. Today let's check out some new features which are available in Office 365. So let's start. The first feature that we will be seeing is the design ideas. You know, PowerPoint has a feature which actually gives you some ideas on how to go ahead and design a slide in a professional way. So let's insert a blank slide here. And for example, if I insert this picture, okay, and if you want to see how to design it, okay, there is a new window which opens here called design ideas it gives you the various options of how you can go ahead and design this slide so it has heading style different different options for you to go ahead and design the slide so this is one very powerful feature which will help you to give you ideas in designing your presentation so that's one you can always go ahead and uh, check this if this window doesn't open here you can go to design you can go to design ideas okay so this is the option you can just turn it off if you don't like it now the second feature is the morph transition feature let me show you how it works we have already discussed this in one of my previous videos you can click on the banner on the top to visit that video and check it out in detail. Let me show you in brief how this transition works. For example, if I insert a shape and then I insert and I duplicate this slide and place this shape here. And here I go to transitions and I select morph. Okay, this one as well. So you see, when I run the slideshow, this is how it appears. So this is a type of animation, which is very nice. You can go ahead and check out the video for more details. So that is the second feature. The third is the zoom feature. So PowerPoint also has a new feature called uh, summary zoom, slide zoom and there is a section. So I have made another video on this uh, different type of zooms which you can go ahead and check uh, by clicking on the banner on the top. So there are different types of zoom called summary zoom, slide zoom and the other section zoom. So for example, if you want to check out the summary zoom. So here, when you click on summary zoom, it will give you the different uh, slides. You can select which slide you want to have it as a summary. Select a few slides and it will give you, it will make a new slide of summary. It will create sections here if you have seen. So once you play this, you can click on this slide and it will take you in this slide and you click it will go back here so that's how a summary zoom is created and then the next feature is the translate and dictate so let's insert a new slide let me insert a text box here okay and then go to the review tab and then you have an option called translate okay so if you select a text or type any text here say for example how are you so in hindi or english it will get translated and if you want to insert the translated text just click on insert it will insert it in the text box so this is another great feature of translate okay you go to the home tab you will see the dictate option so click on this and select the language now 
insert a text box, another text box. Then click on dictate. Hi, this is a test. So whenever you talk into the mic, it types. If you have seen when I have dictated it into the mic, it typed everything what I said. So this is another feature where we can, if you don't want to type, you can select this option. You dictate and it types. So that's another feature. Quickly move on to the next feature, which is known as the draw feature. So let's insert a new slide. Let me show you how the draw works. So you have another tab called draw. It is usually not present when you start Microsoft PowerPoint for the first time. So what you need to do is go so file option, go to the options and then click on customize ribbon and under that you will see the draw menu the draw ribbon so just check this box and come back here so then you will see the draw so draw is like a paint brush it has different different options of you of inserting the marker you can you can write whatever you want just hold on mouse and then write the text for example, I'm writing PowerPoint. Okay, it also has an option of inserting the ruler. Okay, you can rotate the ruler, you can put the ruler wherever you want, and you can also draw a straight line using the ruler. And remove the ruler, the line would be there. Okay, so this is another feature you can use for uh, writing hand and like text and then drawing lines and shapes so that's about drawing let's move on to the next option the next feature rather is a 3d model so very interesting one so let's insert a blank slide then let me show you how to insert 3d models so it has a new option called under insert if you see 3d models so just click on 3d models you will see a list of uh, options you can go ahead and insert then the other one is the inbuilt icons. Go to insert, click on icons. So here you'll see different icons. You need not go ahead and download it from the internet. So you have different categories of uh, icons which you can select one by one, select multiple also at a time, and then insert them to your slide. So this is another great feature. These are the SVGs, which you can drag and have any size of it without losing the clarity in the pixels. Okay, the next one is the translated subtitles. This is a great feature, it's a very interesting one. So what you need to do is go to the go to the slideshow menu. And you have this option called always use subtitles. I have made a separate video on how to insert subtitles. You can click on the banner on the top and uh, check out the video in details. Let me show you again how to actually use the subtitles. So here you have to go ahead and select the microphone which you are using, which language you will be speaking to the speaker and which language you want it to be translated to. For example, I am speaking here in English and the translation I want it to be happening in Arabic. So let's see how it appears. So after selecting those options, go to the PowerPoint show and then it starts. So this is how the translation appears. Okay, so if you see I'm talking in English and the translation is appearing in Arabic at the bottom. So this is how the translation works. Okay, let's go ahead and change the output language to Hindi, for example. Hindi here. Okay, now let's go to the show. This is a demo for translated subtitles. So it gives you the translation of the text in Hindi. 
So that's how you insert the translated subtitles. Now, the other feature is the reuse slides. So let's see how do we actually use this. So for example, when you're making a presentation, you might want to go back and open another presentation which has some data or which has some template or any format which you may want to reuse in this presentation. So instead of going and opening the presentation, copying the slide from there and pasting it back here, you can do is go to the home option and you have an option called reuse slides. So once you click on reuse slides, you will see all the presentations that you have created earlier will be appearing here. So you can go ahead and open the presentation from here and copy the slide and paste it. Let's click on the slide, it will be inserted here. So that's another great feature. The last one is inserting equations into your PowerPoint presentation. So let's see how do we do that. Insert a text box, go to insert again and go to equation okay and uh, say insert new equation and for example if you want to type a script like this is a and this is square like this and then you say square This is a square. Then again, if you want to type anything here, so you can go ahead and type any equation. Or if you have an equation which you know, you can go ahead and insert some equations already present here. Like a is equal to this, or any accent, brackets. So all these options are available. You can also go ahead and try this. The basic maths. And you also have Greek letters, operators, arrows, scripts, and geometrical shapes as well. So this is a great feature for people who are doing mathematics. If you want to have uh, shapes and characters for maths. So instead of learning the different keystrokes, you can go ahead and insert the characters from here. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. These are the some of the best new features of Office 365. Please go ahead and try them. Check out the other videos related to this and let me know in your comments if you have any questions and if you have tried all these features. So thanks for watching. You have a good day. Please make sure to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.